Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well today. So, on my Instagram, I post photos, as you do, and I really, really like to focus on an extreme highlight on my cheekbones. So what I'll do is I'll put like a little um, scroll right here if I can even figure out how to do that. And you'll see what I'm talking about on my feed. That is my highlight, which is always popping. And I can't count how many times I've had you guys comment and ask me how I get my highlight so blinding. By the way, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna put my handle right here. Come over and follow me and we can be great mates over there. So I've replied to loads of you explaining how I get my highlight so popping, but then I thought, you know what? I may as well just make a video about it so you guys will know how to do it all the time. Now, now in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to make your highlight always pop, no matter if you're using a really, really affordable highlight or something more expensive. So let's get straight into it. On this side of my face, never mind this, by the way, I have a scar, a new scar. It's very annoying. I really don't like it, but it's there and it's there to stay. So on that side of my face, I'm going to use my more expensive highlighter method. And then on this side of my face, I'm going to do my cheaper method. Hi. Thanks. Bye. Darren just delivered me a freshly squeezed orange juice. He is the best. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna show you my more expensive way to get your highlight really popping. And honestly, this is what I do most of the time on Instagram to get my highlight really blinding because I have the products, so I may as well use them. And that is to layer up two highlights. So I always go in with a cream or a liquid highlight first, and then I go in with a powder highlight on top of it. So the two I'm gonna be using on this side of my face is the Sigma Nightlife Afterglow Liquid Highlight paired with the Mary Luminizer powder highlight. You will also require some kind of sponge. I'm just using my beauty blender. It's completely dirty because I used it today, but we'll overlook that. So what I'm doing is getting some of my liquid highlight. I'm going to plonk it on the side of my beauty blender like that. And then I'm going to bounce it on top of my cheekbone. So that highlight on its own is amazing anyway. Then what I'm gonna do is set it in place with a powder highlight. So then I'm going in with my Bleh Bleh Mary Luminizer from The Balm and taking my Sigma Strobing Fan F42 brush, this is what I use to do my highlight. I'm gonna put some of that on the brush and then plonk that on top. So I'm literally setting that cream liquid highlight in place with a powder highlight. And by doing that, you get this double whammy effect of just like insane highlight like look at that guys what the hell am I blinding you right now I better put a disclaimer in the description box if blinded by Stephanie's highlight do not sue so that is how I usually do my highlight for Instagram and for YouTube and all that stuff because I love in pictures blinding highlight like it's one of my favorite things in pictures. But if you don't have both a cream and powder highlight, I'm going to show you a cheaper way to do it. So all you need to do is get your affordable highlight or whatever highlight you have. For my affordable cheap highlight, I'm using this one here. This is from W7 Cosmetics and it is the Glow Commotion Highlighter. It looks like this and when you open it, it looks like this. It is super cheap, super affordable. I will link it in the description box down below for you, but it's amazing quality as is all W7's products. So what you would think to do obviously is to go straight in with your powder highlight and plonk it on your cheekbone and Bob's your uncle, but that is not gonna get you a blinding highlight. So what I would suggest you do is wet down your foundation first. The easiest way to do this would be to apply it straight after you've applied your foundation before you set it in place with powder. But like an Egypt, I've already gone ahead and set mine in place with powder. So we're just gonna do it this way, right? So what you need to do is get something wet. Now that can be a wet beauty blender, it can be your moisturizer, it can be a primer. It doesn't really matter what you use as long as it's wet and not disturbing to makeup. So no oil or anything like that because oil will separate your makeup and ruin everything. So just go in with something water-based and wet. So I'm just gonna use this. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. It's kind of like a moisturizer in a bottle slash primer slash setting spray. It's really, really nice. Now what you could do is just spray this directly on your face and that would work as well, but I am a very oily human and I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is just wet down this beauty blender even more. So my beauty blender is damp to apply foundation and such, but I'm gonna really, really soak it right now. So I'm just spraying this on the side of my beauty blender. It is now wet on that side. And I'm gonna apply that to my cheekbone where I'm gonna apply my powder highlight. And while your foundation is still wet, that's when you need to go straight in with your powder really carefully on top of it. So that wetness is gonna kind of grip your highlight and it's gonna have a similar effect to layering up a wet cream or liquid highlight with a powder highlight. 
So as you can see, that highlight is just literally blinding right now, like I'm blinding myself in my mirror. This highlight is really good on its own anyway, but if you want that extra step, like you want that really popping, blinding highlight, then this is what you need to do. If you want a more natural highlight, which I'm sure a lot of people in the comments are going to be like, that's too much highlight. If you don't want this much highlight and you want something more natural, just go in with the powder on its own on top of powdered foundation. But there you go. Well, that is how to make your highlight popping no matter if you're using more expensive highlighting products or using something super affordable. So if you enjoyed this video, pretty please give it a thumbs up. I will appreciate it so much and share it with your friends if you think that they will enjoy learning how to make any highlighter pop. If you're not already subscribed to my channel here on YouTube, pretty please press the subscribe button. Should be underneath this video to join my family here. I always have new videos up every single week with different tips and tricks and makeup looks. So I'd love it if you would join us here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.